over all these years of experience, it's the reason that people bully each other is because of a lack of self-esteem on their own part. They've got to find someone to pick on. They've got to find someone to lash out of, out lash out on. And I think that sometimes they want this feeling of superiority, and that's the only way they think they can grasp it or get a hold of it. Well, the long-term effects are um, a decrease in self-esteem for the person being bullied. Sometimes it, it becomes so severe that they suffer from depression that has to be treated with medications. Um, and it's really a tragedy. As a counselor for 30 years and a teacher for six years, I've really seen dramatic effects in some people's persona, how they feel about them. That's one of the major effects that I've seen that bullying creates in children. I can't begin to tell you how much the progression of technology has changed bullying. We now have Facebook which allows people to bully each other all the time, anytime. We have Twitter that allows people to just give little uh, in to others and really hurt their feelings or threaten them. We have texting. We have any number of other ways to reach each other through technology. And that's not what it was designed for. It wasn't designed as a weapon. It was designed as a way to communicate and communicate rapidly. Unfortunately, in some people's cases, it's become a weapon. Well, I think it takes a concerted effort of everybody. It's not just one person's responsibility. It's hard because people have to step up and say, you know, this is wrong, why are you doing that? And then I think another thing is not to laugh when someone's being bullied. I've seen students who had different difficulties in life be totally bullied to the point where they struck out. What? Why at someone else? Why would you want to do that? And it takes all of us together. It takes teachers and counselors, principals, but especially students to stop it. And to make statements. And it's not easy, I know. But that's the only way it's going to be stopped. It's estimated that 160,000 children miss school every day due to the fear of attack or intimidation by other students. Bullying has been linked to 75% of school shooting incidents. Half of suicides among young people are related to bullying. Stop bullying. Start a movement.